Hi friends, my name is Leanne and welcome to my very first YouTube video. And on this video, I will be talking, reviewing, and testing out the Huawei MatePad Pro for the entire day. So if you guys aren't very familiar with the Huawei MatePad Pro, it's kind of known online as parang the iPad killer. And as a student, no walang choice but to study at home. One of the most important things, at least for me, for online schooling is picking the right gadget for you. And not just that, but also picking the right tablet that will work not only for online school, but for your everyday life as well. So hopefully this video will be very helpful for those who are looking into getting a tablet or looking into getting a Huawei MatePad Pro. So with that said and done, let's go ahead and unbox the Huawei MatePad Pro. Right off the bat, the first thing I notice about this box is that it really does look and feel like a premium item just from its packaging. Upon opening the box, the first thing you'll see is the product itself, then the lower part of the box which features sleek pull tabs which holds its warranty card, quick start guide, Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack converter, Type-C charger, SIM pen, and charging block. The Huawei MatePad Pro has dimensions of 9.69 by 6.26 by 0.28 inches and comes with a big 10.8 inch IPS LCD display which is great na great na for watching videos and fits easily in mga bags so hindi hassle kagahin if ever on the go ka. Camera wise naman, the Huawei MatePad Pro comes with a 13 megapixel main camera and a small 8 megapixel punch hole selfie camera which are decent naman enough for video calls, Zoom meetings, and the like. Pero kung Chris Super HD photos ang hinanap mo, this probably isn't the product for you. That said though, aesthetic wise, I feel that the selfie camera was much more unobtrusive compared to other tablets I've seen, which makes focusing on reading a little bit easier, at least for me. Specs wise, the Huawei MatePad Pro runs on Android 10 and is powered by the Kirin 990 processor, has an octa core CPU, and runs on the Mali G76. GPU, which is more than enough now for me to do my daily tasks and to even run games. So, for me, super powerful na siya for all around use therein. Sa battery naman, the Huawei MatePad Pro has 7,250 milliamp years of battery, which is marketed to last you the entire day and even allows for reverse charging and wireless charging. So guys, now that we're done talking about the specs of Huawei MatePad Pro, you will be directly going to actually testing the Huawei MatePad Pro to see how long the tablet lasts and to see how well it performs, especially for students and for those who are into illustrating on their tablets. Now. So let's go! Little did she know, 24 hours later. <laughs> to test the Huawei MatePad Pro, I've brought a very, very... um. Special friend, special friend. She's my sister. This is Lexi, and dahil hindi ako marunong magdrawing, hindi ako marunong mag, you know, paint, paint, because I'm not very creative. I have her here for me to, uh, what's the word? Suffer on my behalf, de ba? So she'll be drawing until the Huawei MatePad Pro dies. Are you ready? Yay. Okay, Miss Three Hours of Drawing. Are you almost done? No, unless you want me to be. I know you have 60% left now, so you go. Should I just keep drawing until I run out of fire? Yeah. Is that so we can see how long uh, how, <laughs> how far long, how far the mate pad mate pad pro goes. Alright. Okay, I'll check in with you like two hours from now. <laughs> see you. You're gonna leave me for two hours. Love you, bye bye. So what other like parts of the Huawei? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Again, okay. So what other parts of the Huawei MatePad Pro do you like? Um, I, I like the fact that you can actually just do your work in like any position because like you can like put it in like a tablet mode like this or kind of 
close to us though, kind of further. Yeah, so it's just overall like easy to use anywhere in any position. That said though, like the keyboard doesn't come with the tablet. So do you think it's still worth it without the keyboard? Well, I mean, yeah, for, for what to use it for, right? For drawing. Like, if you're using it by some, just like as a tablet with a pen, then it still works. Because all you need is like the pen and the tablet. You don't really need the keyboard to draw. <laughs> Awkward zoom. <laughs> Alright, so here's where I am. 48%. That is 11, but it's actually 7. I just haven't um, put the time in. But yeah. 7.49. I'm going to be off to eat. And we're back. It is 8.26. On 45%. Let's go. Hi guys, so we've been here for around 6 hours now. It's currently 9 o'clock, meaning Alexi has been drawing for the past 6 hours. And Alexi, how many batteries do we have left? 38! Okay, by the way, um, kanina pa ako record and I kept on failing my intro. So really, it was at 39%. Uh, Alexi, any comments on the Huawei MatePad Pro? It's been like 19 minutes since your first take and it only went down 1%. That's the truth, yo. I'm not gonna edit this out para malaman ninyo talaga kung gaano katindi ang Huawei MatePad Pro na ito kasi medyo medyo scary siya. In the fact that it can last this long and we haven't charged it at all. Like zero recharge, wala kaming ginawa kundi mag-draw. Actually no, hindi ako nag-draw, siya yung nag-draw, siya nag-suffer. <laughs> Just to clarify, kasi baka magalit siya. Pero yun, we'll see you probably in around 3 hours. Kasi the trend right now is 10% for an hour, right? Right, right. We're there. We're there. So yun. See you then. So time skip na lang. Ta -da -da -da. You think okay, it would cool be? The cool thing about the Huawei Note uh, uh, Mi Pad and the Notes thing is that it has like a touch pen only function. Where when you're going through your notepad and you can like draw and doodle on it, like you can only you can like move it with your finger and then it won't like write anything with your finger, only write with a pen. Oh, that's actually cool. It's really cool. Thirty percent more to go. How does it feel? We're almost done. I did some cool stuff. Yeah. This is where we're at right now. Oh, you actually drew the Huawei Mate Pad. That's actually cool. Oh yeah, I have a logo in there too. <laughs> That's how you know that we have too much time on our hands. You have too much time on our hands. I, I don't know. We were only planning to do like super basic like, na drawing, like diba? Sketches and coloring and call it a day. Just like, yeah, tablet. No, it shouldn't be that long. It'd be fine, be quick. Little did she know. 24 hours later. <laughs> Three minutes until 12. It's three minutes until 12. We've been here for? Nine. Nine hours. And yet, it's not dead. So. It's on 14%. So. Any like things in the Made Bad Bro you want to tell our viewers today? Um, well, again, refreshing is I love the magnetic features of the pen and yeah, actually, sure. actually we have to show them yeah the actually Ooh, oh it uh, also here. tells you like amount of battery yeah it says the amount of battery of like how many pen. batteries the pen you've been using it for a while it charges when you mount it oh it, it that's that's a charger right there so you don't need like any like other charging area or station or a pocket or a port. You just need the tablet and you're good. Other notable features that I was really impressed with sa Huawei MatePad Pro ay first of all, ang ebook 
feature na to which automatically adjusts the contrast, the brightness, and definition of the display, no? which will give you like a more comfortable reading experience. Which as a student, for me, na super babad na babad talaga sa tablet, sa laptop, sa gadgets niya for school, no, was really important to not only make it more comfortable but also to protect my eyes. Because you can only imagine how many hours you know we use our gadgets, diba? And ang multi-window feature na to, which allows you to watch your professor's lecture or your Zoom calls while also taking down notes at the same time, which is very helpful for students na you know doesn't want to shift from tablet to laptop or tablet to PC pa. I also want to mention, of course, you know, one of the biggest questions about the Huawei MatePad Pro, which is ang price nito. So SRP ng Huawei MatePad Pro runs at around 32,990 pesos, which is considerably less expensive compared to, you know, let's say the iPad Pro 2020, diba? But it doesn't really include the accessories such as the M Pen and the magnetic keyboard, which finitures sa review natin kanina. The M Pen and the magnetic keyboard accessories will cost you an additional 12,000 pesos, which I know is pricey naman talaga. Though if you're planning talaga on using this for you know online school or for media purposes like we did kanina sa test namin, kailangan na kailangan talaga siya just so you don't have to switch to you know another laptop or another desktop. One of the biggest deciding factors for me in using the Huawei MatePad Pro ay ang functionality nito sa daily life ko. Because not only does it have a very, very long battery life, no, even compared to your traditional laptops, uh, but also the fact that it gives you the option to use it as a tablet or use it, you know, with the M pen, with the keyboard, which is really helpful for students, no, especially during these times na sa college, diba, you have to type out a lot of thesis papers, you have to type out a lot of research papers. It makes it just really convenient that you don't have to go to, you know, another laptop or another desktop to write out these types of things. Especially kung late ka na mag-submit sa mga profs mo, diba? And lastly, the fact that I really feel that gadgets are, you know, an investment which should last you a long time. So after this pandemic, do I see myself using the Huawei MatePad Pro? Yes, I do. So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. I hope this was helpful for you in deciding if you should get a tablet or even a Huawei MatePad Pro. And hopefully you enjoyed it and remember to, you know, like, comment, and, you know, subscribe to this channel because I will be uploading more videos in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye! Now that we're done talking about the specs of Huawei Mate, though, I'm not looking at the camera.